All right, everyone, hope you're all good. So I thought today we will take a look at some of the new blog posts that have been put on the Asphalt website. So there's the season tokens, the Asphalt 9 roadmap for July, and the new donation system. Let's start off by looking at the new donation system. So the new donation system is our biggest community-inspired feature to date. Voted directly via the Asphalt board, we are proud to introduce an all new system that allows you to collaborate more directly with your clubmates than ever before. So wildcard donations. In our new update, you and your clubmates will be able to request and donate wildcards. It's a pretty cool feature. If you have space in your inventory, you'll be able to request any wildcards for any class from tier one to three. So, you know, it's only going to get you halfway if you've got a six star car. Technically not even halfway, but yeah, I'll get you three of them stars. So... Well, oh no, it'll allow you to request two tier three, so you'll be able to star up two four stars, presumably. If any of your club mates has that wild card and is willing, of course, they'll be able to see a request in the club chat, donate their card, so you can put it to good use in a car of your choice. So, yeah, seems like a pretty fair system. I'm not going to allow you to push it all the way to six star, but, you know, it'll get you half the way-ish. So once the donation is complete, you'll have to wait an hour until you're able to request another. So there's kind of your limitations. You can only do it once per hour. And that's if your donation and your request is accepted pretty much straight away. And you can only get up to tier three. So still, it's a nice little feature to have. It'll be handy to get rid of some of them lower class wildcards that you, you might not need anymore and get it for cars that you do need. So quite, quite happy with the feature. Let's have a look at the season tokens next. So we're happy to announce that this season brings a whole new reward system, season tokens. As seasons move by in Asphalt 9, the team wanted to find a way to reward our players who participate in all of our events throughout the season, whilst also offering a way to unite your efforts to help work towards our seasonal rewards. Introducing season tokens will also increase player agency allowing you a choice of which reward to unlock instead of simply relying on the linear rewards offered in a specific event, which is good. It's always nice to be able to pick your own reward rather than be told what you're going to win. So, you know, a lot of the time, me, for instance, I get a lot of cards that are just turned straight to trade coins. So maybe there's the option to buy something that will turn to something useful, which is, yeah, it's, it's a good thing to have. To help better understand the concept, let's have a closer look at how the brand new seasonal currency will work. So what are they? Season tokens, a new currency which can be earned by participating in our events during a specific season. It will only be available during specific season. Okay, and so not every season, just the ones that they deem it to be worthy in or whatever they you know can set up the rewards for. And any leftover season tokens will be converted into tokens once the season ends. And that, that's quite an interesting line because... If there's nothing in seasonal tokens that may suit you, or suit me, suit us, we can just save them all and then turn them all into tokens at the end of the month, at the end of the season, and then spend them tokens on something that's coming up, like a burst of speed or something. So each season will bring a set of rewards to, the, to your store, which will be purchasable with seasonal tokens. Seasons will feature a variety of rewards to choose from, so you'll be able to focus on obtaining the ones that cater best to your current needs instead of relying on fixed rewards. As I've already touched on, I think it's a, it's a good idea. Make sure to claim all your rewards from the shop before the season ends and both the rewards on offer and season tokens expire. How will I earn season tokens? We will be using next season as an introduction to season tokens, so basically like a bit of a beta, make see how it works, see how everyone in the community reacts to it, if it's positive, negative. So yeah, definitely get in your uh, comments on this to the team. And you'll be able to earn a large amount of season tokens by simply engaging with our events during the season, such as Legend Pass tiers. Okay, so pay money for a Legend Pass and we give you more currency. Interesting. Special events, Grand Prix, car hunts, key hunts, time limit events, currency craze. That's a new event, I think. Sounds like a new event. Drive Syndicate, multiplayer milestones. So as you can see, participate in almost every aspect of Asphalt 9 during the season will offer you a chance to earn season tokens and earn seasonal rewards. 
The team will also be looking at community feedback as we adapt our season token sources in upcoming seasons. So yeah, basically just play the game, earn it, spend it on whatever you want and let the team know what you think. Where can I use season tokens? So you can use them in the A9 shop where you'll be able to find specific rewards which you can exchange for your season tokens such as blueprints, exotic parts and other rewards. Other rewards, so decals, emojis maybe. And then Legend Pass benefits. So the Legend Pass will be even more useful during the season as not only will it be one of the key sources for season tokens, it will also provide you with a unique bonus at the end of the season as it will double the season tokens to token conversion rate. This means you'll be able to get double the number of tokens you would receive when your season tokens expire at the end of each season. We hope this new currency helps provide even more choice in rewards each season, no matter what part of the game you enjoy. That legend benefit is huge. This means you'll get double the number of tokens what you would receive when your season tokens expire. So it's almost like, yeah, maybe I don't summon my season tokens, maybe I just hold them and then convert everything into tokens at the end of the, at the, end of the season. Be interesting to see what the rewards are and how many tokens you get per season token. Okay then, so onto the roadmap. So they want to share a quick journey to help you get a better sense of what you can expect down the road. So as we celebrate our anniversary, we want to take a moment to not only celebrate our past with our event, but also take some time to look into the future as a team works hard this year to bring you some truly special features. By taking some inspiration from community and having a deeper look at how you interact with the game, we've come up with some big ticket features for our upcoming updates that we couldn't wait to leave under wraps any longer. Some of these features you'll be able to get your hands on immediately, but others you might have to wait a little longer to test out for yourselves. But this roadmap will hopefully give you a good understanding of both the features themselves and what we hope to bring to the table. So helping your club mates. Clubs are a very special feature in our game, which is made greater thanks to the efforts and will to cooperate of our community. It's not only a place to band together to compete with in Clash, but also a melting pot of players helping players. Our players have been asking us to enable them to help each other further. So we're happy to announce that we've been working hard to bring the new donation system, allowing you to help each other even further. And one of them is already headed your way. So yeah, we touched on that feature earlier. Great option to have. So more opportunities to donate. So we've received quite a few requests for the opportunity to send gifts to their friends and club mates. So we're working on other ways players can share with each other. The team is currently looking into ways to offer the chance for players to gift other items, whether they're resources, store items, or passes. Passes is cool. If they can bring that, I'm happy to do a few giveaways, so get subscribed for that. We'll also be looking closely at community feedback to help guide future decisions with this project. So yeah, sounds pretty cool. Bringing back the classics, a common piece of feedback shared by the community is that our more veteran players have a big garage advantage. This is very true, as some older cars are not available as they used to be. After five years, Asphalt 9 has developed quite the collection of cars for our players to add to the garages. So we want to help address this in multiple ways, both via events and with the all new feature, the showroom. Hmm, interesting. So Hall of Flames, our future events will help bring back some fan favorites that haven't seen the light of the street for a while. Don't worry, you can still expect to see new and exciting rides coming each season, but we'll be upping the ante by featuring some highly requested reruns. This makes perfect sense. A good example will be in our Hall of Flame season, which along with celebrating the McLaren's anniversary, will also feature some classic comebacks such as the Aston Martin Valhalla concept. This is so true. People who've been playing the game for a long time have a massive garage advantage, like I'm absolutely stacked and like new players come along and really struggle to, to get the cars. So I think, I think this is a fair feature, a fair thing to add to the game. So showroom coming up next season, the showroom will be unleashed and it will allow you to finally work on completing your garage collection. The showroom will offer you a selection of custom events that feature blueprints of previously released cars. You can expect the showroom to open its doors at the end of September 
and we'll be offering you the full tour closer to release. I'm interested in that. Definitely sounds like a nice little feature. Let's see how that works. Gotta wait till September though, but it's not that far away now. So Drive Syndicate 7, yeah, it is back. Drive Syndicate 7 in the next upcoming season, which is really good. Although it's quite pay to win orientated, but normally you can pick up a car or two at the start if you're free to play. And then if you want to spend a little bit more, you can go a little bit further. Topping out the max cars is going to get you at least £400 in the pocket, at least. So anyway, that is a good look at three new blog posts which have recently been updated onto the Asphalt website. What do you think of these three updates? Please do let me know in that comment section down below. There are things I'm definitely looking forward to. The donation system looks cool. Season tokens I'm a bit dubious about. It's just another currency. What, what pay features are they going to add in? But I'm interested to see how it works. And then bringing back the old events is definitely a good idea for the newer players to the game. So anyway, drop me some comments down below. Let's have a conversation about this. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Do like usual YouTube stuff. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Peace out.